Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A rectangle has sides of 6 and 8. Construct a diagonal of the rectangle, dividing the rectangle into two triangles. Inscribe circle X in one triangle and circle Y in the other triangle. The question is what is the length of XY, the distance between the two circle's centers? I thank Divyesh for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Here's one way to solve the problem. Construct a right triangle where one leg is the vertical distance between x and y, and the other leg is the horizontal distance between x and y. Then xy is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. In circle x, Construct radii to the tangency points with the rectangle. Let r be the length of the radius. Do the same thing for circle y. Now, construct the following two line segments from the other corner of the right triangle. Each of these line segments has length equal to r. Then, the shorter leg of the right triangle has length equal to 6 minus 2r, and the longer leg has a length equal to 8 minus 2r. Thus, the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs. All that remains is to solve for r, the radius of the inscribed circle. Let's solve for that now. Let's focus on one half of the rectangle. This right triangle has legs equal to 6 and 8, which means its hypotenuse is equal to 10. The area of half of the rectangle is equal to 6 times 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 24. But there is another way that we can solve for the area of half the rectangle. Construct the following radius of circle x to the tangency point with the diagonal of the rectangle. We'll now construct three triangles. This triangle has a base equal to 6 and a height equal to r, so its area is equal to 6r over 2. This triangle has a base equal to 8 and a height equal to r, so its area is equal to 8r over 2. This triangle has a base equal to 10 and a height equal to r, which means its area is 10r over 2. The sum of these three areas is equal to r times the semi-perimeter of the triangle, which is also equal to 12 times r. This is also equal to half the area of the rectangle. Thus, we have 12r is equal to 24. We divide both sides of the equation by 12 to get that r is equal to 2. We now substitute in for our formula for xy. This means xy is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared, and that's equal to the square root of 20, which is approximately equal to 4.472. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.